in Jesus' precious mighty name. Amen. Quickly, let's get into the word. I have 30 minutes to deliver. Hallelujah. All right, quickly, Psalm 118, while we're on our feet, please. Verse 17. One verse of the scripture, and we will scatter in thousand directions. Hallelujah. It's the beginning of our Lion of Judah service, and the Holy Ghost said, this is the way to start it. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Can we read together with a unified voice? I, I shall not, not die, die, but live and declare, declare the works of, of the Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. Please, everybody stand be on your feet so we can pronounce this word you are not saying it to me say you will say it to it's yourself hallelujah you are beginning the preaching to yourself can we say it one more time i, I shall, shall not die but live and, and declare, declare the works of, of the lord hallelujah Amen. somebody say i refuse to die i refuse to die can you say it like a minute say i refuse to die i refuse to die Say, I shall not die. I shall not die. Say, my loved ones will not die. Say, we refuse to die. We refuse to die. Ayana Makasha. Can you sit down? Let me bring you God's word. Somebody say, say, not my head. Not my head. Say, not my blood. Not my blood. Say, not my children. Not my husband. Not my wife. Can you say it louder? Say, not my blood. Say, not my head. Say, not my family. In the name of Jesus. I want to start by praying for somebody here. Anyone calling your name to death or a call of death, I decree they shall answer the call. Amen. Every call of death over your life and your family, it goes back to the call. I said, their yeah, children will answer the call. I said, they shall answer the call. I said, they shall answer the call. I said, they shall answer the call. You shall not die, but you shall live in the name of Jesus. Listen, child of God, I have come to understand that this world is wicked, yes, but we are prepared to stand wickedness. Yes, that wicked man or woman that has said over their dead body, will you see the end of July? I came to prophesy, as you saw the beginning, you shall see the end. Amen. Not everybody can be killed. Yes, I decree you unkillable. Amen. I say you unkillable Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Listen down. In Daniel chapter 3, the Bible said the three Hebrew boys, they were set up. They were framed up. And the Bible makes us to understand from verse 22. The king of Baratasha, the king said he topped the phone seven times. And he said, bring me mighty men. Daniel 3. Hallelujah. He said, bring mighty men. Let the mighty men bind up this man. Therefore, because the king's commandment was urgent, and the furnace exceeding hot, they hit up the furnace for the three Hebrew boys. They carried them, they threw them in. They fly, the fire killed the men who threw them in, but they were in the fire and they did not die. I don't know the fire they are set. Not everybody dies cheaply. You shall not die before your time. Any fire they are set, it shall swallow them. Amen. Every fire they set for you and your loved ones, it shall swallow them. Amen. I say it shall swallow them. Amen. I say it shall swallow them. Amen. I say it shall swallow them. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In Daniel chapter 6, you read verse 20. The Bible said Daniel was in the lion's den. He slept overnight. I don't know where they put your picture. I don't know where they put you. That you are expecting to wake up to hear bad news. I come to announce to you. That thing they prepare for you, it shall swallow them. Amen. Lion could not eat Daniel, but the lion in the morning, he ate up the man that conspired against him. I have come to prophesy. I don't know the conspiracy over your life. They said you will die. I said you will leave. They said you shall surely die. I said you shall surely leave. As Jesus lived, you will leave. As Jesus lived, your children shall leave. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In Acts chapter 12. From verse 1, the Bible said, Herod stretched forth his hand 
to vex certain of the church. He took James. He killed him with the sword. The Bible said, and when he pleased the Jew, he stretched his hand, he apprehended Peter. He said, I know a kapalada basha. Peter was put in prison when he was supposed to be brought out. The Bible says, an abakasha, ikoko manata, the angel appeared and brought for the deliverance. I came to prophesy. I don't know where they thought they have locked you up. I don't know where they thought they walled you in. They are waiting for a day to harvest your head. I stand here as an extension of grace. I decree over your life. You are coming out. Amen. 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 Somebody say, I refuse to die. I refuse to die. Not everybody can be killed. Yes, sir. Baratesha. Not everybody can be killed. I don't know where they have gathered. And they say it is over with you. It is not over. Amen. It is just your beginning. Amen. In Acts chapter 7 and verse 54. The Bible says Stephen was stoned. And he gave up the ghost. But in Acts 14 verse 19 to 20. There was another man called Paul. They stoned him. They thought he was dead. But when the brethren came around. He says the anointing and he jerked back. I don't know. Maybe they ate you already in the dream. You are coming back. Under this anointing. I decree restoration. Amen. I say restoration. Amen. The Lord restore you. Amen. I say the Lord restore you. Amen. You are unkillable Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Somebody say I refuse to die. I refuse to die. In Hebrews chapter 9 verse 27 I know the Bible said it is appointed unto man mm. once to die. Hallelujah. But this appointment is not, on, is not God that made it. A man made the appointment for you to die. Hebrews chapter 9 verse 27. He said it is appointed unto man to die. He didn't say that another man should make your appointment for death. When men are programmed for you to die, we can deprogram that program. I don't know where they sat and they gathered and they made a meeting. The Bible says, surely they shall gather. Isaiah 54, Ephesus 15. He said, but not by me, they shall scatter. I decree those who have conspired against you, they shall kill themselves. Amen. I said they will 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 kill themselves. Amen. Somebody said, This is not my appointment. This is not, not my appointment. appointment. This is not the appointment letter you have been waiting for. It's not appointment of death. No. Marakasha. Amen. Thank you, my father. Ikatuba. This is not my appointment. Can you say it one more time? This say, this is, is not my appointment. my appointment. This is not my appointment. Abaratasha. In Exodus chapter 2, Moses was born. Before Moses came, there was a law that they should kill all Hebrew children. But somebody escaped. Not everybody can be killed. They waited for our father and the Lord with all kinds of machine guns. They spray bullets. Even the tire did not sustain bullet. There was an anointing that was covering that vehicle. That anointing will cover you. I said that anointing will cover you. Amen. I said that unction will cover you. Amen. I said that anointing will shatter you. Amen. I said that anointing will cover you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the days of Jesus, in Matthew 2, all children from two years and below, they were killed. But Christ the Lord could not be killed. Because something was revealed in the night. God showed me a vision this night. He said, bring them out of death. Every appointment they have made between you and death. Today I cancel it. Amen. I say I cancel it. Amen. I say I cancel it. Amen. I cancel it. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, Shabbatasha. Somebody say I escape. I escape. In First Samuel chapter 19 verse 10. Saul, he looked for every way to kill David. He prepared a spear. He put it by himself. He wanted to hold him to the wall. But David escaped. Hallelujah. And Saul sought to smite David even to the wall. Hallelujah. With a javelin. He said, but he slipped away out of Saul's presence. And he smote the javelin into the wall. And David did what? He fled. And he did what? I said, you will escape. Psalm 55 verse 8. He said, I will hasten my escape. Somebody say, I escape. I escape. You are not doing it. Right. Say, I escape. I escape. 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 As you are doing prophetically, that's how you escape. Say, I escape. I escape. Say, I escape. I escape. 
that decree you shall escape. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Psalm 141, 10 verse 7. Psalm 141, verse 10. He said, let the wicked, let the wicked fall into their own hands. Let the wicked do what? Maratasha. He said, why that I do what? Hey, is somebody escaping today? Say, I escape. Say, I escape. Say, I escape with my family. I escape with my wife. I escape with my children. I escape with my mother. I escape with my siblings. Say, I escape. Say, I escape. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Psalm 124 and verse 7. Oh, Barasha. Is there a source I escape? Hey, Barotasha. Is somebody so escaping here? Our soul is what? Escaped. I decree you have escaped. Every appointment with death in this month of July, I decree this cancelled. Every appointment with death in this month of July, I decree is cancelled. Anywhere witches have gathered, I give them fire. 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 In the name of Jesus. You don't serve a dead God. We serve a mighty God. He's the same yesterday. He's the same today. He's the same forever. When God says yes, no man can say no. When God lifts you up, no man can bring you down. God is on your side. Power is on your side. Favor is on your side. God alone shall fire. Shall fire, fire, fire. Say I escape. Five Sundays of Lion of Judah. We will tear down their kingdom. Amen. I said we will tear down their kingdom. Amen. First, let us escape first. Amen. You can't help your family if you are still in the same mode with them. You must go out before you can send your Amen. If Joseph did not go ahead, the whole of his brethren, family, everybody would have perished. All of them, including Joseph. God sent him ahead so he can pull the rest. Somebody say, I escape with my family. I escape with, say, I escape family. with my family. I escape with my, family. I escape with my wife. I escape, I escape with my, with my children. I escape, I, escape with my I escape with my siblings. I escape with, I escape with my mother. I escape. 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 Say, I escape. I escape. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hey, Katutu Baha. Today is first Sunday in July. I want to pass a verdict. Any obituary they wrote with your name or the names of your loved ones, I decree the writer's name will replace your name. The writer's name will replace your name. The one that wrote it, I write your name there. I take out your name from there. I pull you out of there. What is the living doing among the dead? What is the living doing among the dead? There are some of you, you had a dream, you saw yourself in the graveyard. I pull you out. 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 You shall not die. You shall live. You shall not die. You shall live. In the name of Jesus. Ah, I will just give us two points today. Please sit down. Arakato Badash. Badash. To live longer, long life is possible. Long life is possible. Psalm 91, verse 16. He said, With long life will I satisfy thee and show thee my salvation. With long life will I satisfy thee and show thee my salvation. It is what? Possible. Long life is not just a theory, it is to obtain long life, number one, be ready for warfare. Somebody say warfare. warfare. Life is not fun fair, it is warfare. warfare. If you are not ready to fight, then you just, you just decided to die. Am I speaking here? The battle began while you were still in the form of a sperm. Five million sperms were released and one person. And you, bearing that name, you fought the rest and came out first. And now in real life, you are afraid of running. 
when you flew in front of five million others. In real life, you are afraid of battle. Life is a battle. Life is what? Battle. Second Corinthians chapter 10, from verse 3, he said, though we walk in the flesh, we don't know war after the flesh. He said, for the weapons of our warfare, they are not kind. But they are mighty through God in the pulling down of strongholds. Who is ready to pull down strongholds? Anything that, that represents itself like a stronghold in your life, in your family, I pull them down. Somebody is not ready for Lion of Judah. Are you ready? You are going to run. I say, every stronghold in my father's house, every stronghold in my mother's house, I pull you down by fire. 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 In the name of Jesus. Listen. Strongholds is where wicked men hide. Yes, sir. Wicked men hide in stronghold to afflict you, afflict your loved ones. Yes, sir. Wicked men hide in stronghold to, to cause pain. When you say certain pattern in families, people don't get married and stay married. There is a stronghold. You're going to pull it down. Yes. If in your family, people don't build houses, you're going to pull it down. Yes, sir. If in your family, people die before their time, we have declared it, you shall not die. Amen. Can you identify the stronghold in your family? Call it by name. Stronghold of barrenness, I pull you down. Amen. Stronghold of poverty, I pull you down. Amen. Stronghold of Shana Makaya. Stronghold of limitation, I pull you down. Amen. Can you pull it down as we go? I tear you down. Stronghold of delay, I pull you down. In Jesus mighty name. You must fight. Hallelujah. Amen. First Timothy chapter uh, 1 and verse 18. Apostle Paul said, he was speaking to his son Timothy. He said, according to the prophecy, if your prophecy is not the end, you must be ready to fight. This charge I commit unto thee, son Timothy, according to the prophecies which went before on thee, that thou by them mightest war a good warfare. warfare. Hallelujah. Amen. No matter your prophecy, fight. In fact, the bigger your prophecy, the greater your battles. Yes, the greater your, your destiny, the greater your battles. The brighter your star, the greater your battles. The star of Jesus attracted wise man, also attracted Fer uh, 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 Herod. Also attracted Herod. As a star attracted goodness, he also attracted battles. But I came here by the instruction of Yahweh. Wherever they have gathered against your rising, I said they shall perish for your sake. Amen. I said they will perish for your sake. Amen. I said they will perish for your sake. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Second Timothy 4 and verse 7. He said, I have fought a good fight of faith. Even faith is a fight. Second Timothy 4 and verse 7. I have fought a good fight. Hallelujah. I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Even faith is battle. You still have to fight. Hallelujah. Everything is fight. Nehemiah 4.14. The Bible says, fight for your loved ones. Fight for your brothers. Fight for your life. Fight for your children. Fight. Can we read it together? Nehemiah 4.14. Want to go? And I looked and, and rose up and said unto the nobles, and to the rulers and to the rest of the people be not afraid of them remember the lord which is great and terrible and fight for your brethren fight for your sons fight for your daughters fight for your wives fight for your household is somebody hearing me here are you ready to fight for your people people are enjoying good relationships suddenly problem came from where toothpaste oh my husband pressed the toothpaste from the middle I like to press it from the bottom. And problem, that's why. Fight. The devil is after your life. After your home. After your marriage. Fight. Fight. Is somebody ready to fight here? Amen. We are going to fight for your loved ones. You have a brother. The enemy has taken hold of them. You, you have a sister. They are acting like nobody is important in the family. And you have left them. Say, this one is wicked. Is the enemy after their life. Fight for them. Amen. Fight for them. Amen. You don't need to call them. Here, you'll be calling their name. In your place of prayer, call their name. 
My brother, you mentioned the name. The enemy cannot have you. Remember, Jesus said, Simon, Simon, in Luke 22, 31. He says, Satan has desired to have you, that he might sift you as weed. There are some, they have collected your husband. They collected your wife, collected your brothers. You can see eyeball to eyeball with your family members. Why? Satan has had them. But we're going to pray. He said, fight for your loved ones. Any member of your household that the enemy has taken captivity, do them we release fire. Amen. We lose them by 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 fire. Amen. Are you ready to pull them out? Yes, sir. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. Lion of Judah. Lion of Judah. My brother, my sister. My brother, my sister. The enemy has laid their hands upon. The enemy has laid their hands upon. I lose you now. I lose you now. I lose you now. Begin to mention their names. God he has, he has prepared these five Sundays to bring out a family. Amen. I don't know which family that is, but there is a family God is delivering. Amen. God is going to bring you out, bring out your loved ones Amen. out of captivity Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Anyone, if you, don't be afraid of the battles. If they were stronger than you, they would have killed you. Yes, sir. Yes, Papa. Have you had a dream? They shot you a gun and you woke yes, up. Sir. You didn't see the, the hole of the bullet. Yes, sir. It means they could not kill you. They tried it, you know what? Yes, sir. Amen. There is something inside of you that do not allow bullet to come in. Mm. Amen. They came, some people even dreamt they cut off their hand. Even when they woke up, the hand was still there. They said, Thank God, oh, my hand. The enemy could not do it, but we need to address it. We already know their plans. So, this is why we need to reverse the bullet back to them. Let me tell you anyone that refused to fight is a coward. Anyone that refused to fight is a coward. So don't get weak. Say, a uh, uh, man of God, how long we go pray? How long, how long have you been eating? Are you not still eating? Eh? How long have you been swallowing? Are, are, you, are you tired of it? Some people draw soup, drop soup. Every day they can eat. Monday through Friday. Monday through, through Sunday. Draw soup and eba. And they are okay with it every day. And you are tired of prayer. You must pray. Yes, Hallelujah. Papa. The Bible says pray without sitting. It's a parable unto this and that men ought always to pray and not to Hallelujah. Somebody ready here? Yes, Papa. Yes, Let me show something. In, in 2 Samuel chapter 3 and verse 33. Can we go there quickly? If you refuse to fight, you are a coward. You are a keeper. You are a fool. Can we read it together? So that some people don't feel offended. Let's read together. I want to go. And the king lamented over Abner. I said, died Abner as a fool, died. Wait, oh, do you know who was Abner? He was a mighty man in David's army. He said, but Abner, you died like a fool. Let's, let's read all the criteria of a fool. Go, the, go to the next verse. He said, Abner died as a fool, died. He said, thy hands were not bound. So if somebody is saying that they did not tie your hand, what does he expect? Reply. They gave you a slap, give him two. They gave you a punch, give them four. They kick you, smile, do Jackie Shen and get on their chest. That is what he expects. He said, thy hands were not bound, nor thy feet put into fetters. As a man, Paul led before wicked men. So Paul led down. And all the people wept again over him. A great man. When you refuse to fight back, <laughs> the Bible says you die like a fool. Listen, no matter how the enemy runs, there is an advantage we have. First John chapter 4 verse 4. He said, greater is he that is in us. Ah, Greater is he that is in us. He said, 
Oh, First John 4:4. 4, 4. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. You have got little children and have overcome them because greater is he. We are standing at an advantage point. So that means we are praying upon victory. Kalabasha. Am I speaking to somebody here? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Are you somebody ready to fight? You have been staying quiet for too long. Uh, they press me, they press you, woke up depressed in the morning. What devil has that capacity? Do you know you carry Holy Ghost? And you say they were pressing Holy Ghost over the night. Uh, are you telling God that God, why I slept with you, they press you in the night? You carry God in your body. Greater is he that is in, not beside you, in me. So if they can oppress you, it means you are saying that they can oppress God. Are you, are you angry enough to take prayers? Yes. See, let me tell you how you reply the enemy. They will get tired. You cannot get tired. You have a destiny. You have a life to fulfill. So like somebody, you stay on traffic too much. You are coming back from work. So the traffic is so bad, you just branch and slept somewhere. You didn't go to your house. Eh? When that traffic is terrible, you will go to your house. Is that right? Yes, Papa. If you like, like it takes two hours, you get to your house. Yes, sir. Anyhow they do it, you will get to your house. So no matter how long they have been coming, you must keep replying them. I saw something on, on Facebook. A girl walked on this small, small hand, slap a man. The man, it looked like the man gave the, the girl a punch. Boom! And she fell and she got confused. She, I thought she would come back and fight. She dusted herself and left. <laughs> if you are replying the same size, they, somebody was saying that. He said that was, that was, that was a very bad slap. He said, according to security, you respond with the same measure. I said, no, in this kingdom where we are, it's good measure, press that, shake it together, shall men give. Hallelujah. Amen. Whoever came to me at night, as I pray now, I cut your leg. Amen. I cut your leg. Amen. I cut your hand. Amen. You that oppress me in the dream, I cut, are you, are you, are you ready to pray? Yes, sir. You will clap your hands and pray. Say, my father, my father, my father, my father. As I begin to pray, As I begin to pray. that man, that woman, that, that man, spoiling my life, spoiling my affairs. As I pray now, As I, pray I now. cut off your leg, I cut off your hand, I cut off your leg, I cut you off, I chop off your leg. Hallelujah. Second Samuel chapter 1 verse 21. David cried about Saul. He said Saul died like one that was not, not anointed. Do you know there were, there were avenues where they almost killed David. But David could not be killed. Many times he had been anointed. As the anointing oil. He said, ye mountains of Giboah. Put it up. Ye mountains of Giboah. Let there be no dew. Neither let there be what rain upon you. Nor fields of offering. For there the shield of the mighty is vilely what? Cast away. The shield of Saul as though he had not been anointed with oil. Thank God there is oil here for your head this morning. So your head will not go down anyhow. Am I speaking to somebody here? David was anointed three times. The first time he was anointed in 1 Samuel chapter 16 verse 13. When he was still in the family house, the Bible said, and Samuel came. If you start from the beginning of that scripture, he saw Eliab. He said, ah, the Lord's anointed standing before me. And God said, I've rejected him. He got to his turn in verse 13. The Bible said, and as Samuel took the, he took the horn of oil and anointed him. 
in the midst of his brethren. Say the spirit of the Lord rested upon him. Hallelujah. What is in the anointing that brings preservation is the spirit of God. Hallelujah. What is in the anointing? I saw one of the testimonies in Wonders Without Number. So it's not just this uh, virgin olive oil. Any oil that is blessed can bring the anointing. A woman said she didn't have anointing oil. She took the oil that she used to fry fish. <laughs> How many people watch that testimony? Huh? Do we have Wonders Without Number family here? Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. She said she used her fried oil that she has used to fry her because she didn't have anointing oil. She said, and she had a phone that was bad. She took fried oil and said, Papa has prayed for it already. She anointed her phone. She plugged it on charge. It came on. Hallelujah. There is power in the anointing oil. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I pray for somebody as you receive the anointing this morning. The Spirit of God will rest upon you. Amen. And we carry you forward. And we hide you from the eyes of wicked men. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Number two. The second time David was anointed in 2 Samuel chapter 2 verse 4. The men of Judah came together. They anointed him. Kabadasha. The first anointing, he anointed him in the midst of his brethren. Hallelujah. That anointing is to tell you that even your family, even though there are wicked men, nobody can kill you. There are some of you, the people doing you, they are in your family. And you are telling them your secret. But by this oil today, any witch in your family, they will call you a bigger witch. Amen. I am telling you, we have seen it before. I pray for somebody, they told the brethren, they started rumor all over the place. That that person has joined one church. <laughs> one church. That they are killing people. No, the person is better to die, not you. Mm. Touch one, we correct you. Yes, sir. As you touch one, we correct you. Hallelujah. Man. The second anointing in Judah, that is a whole tribe. Even in your village, after now, the strongest juju man cannot see your picture. Amen. When they look at you, fire will ooze out. Amen. When they look at you, fire will ooze Amen. out. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Second Samuel chapter 2, verse 4. Quickly. He said, and the men of Judah. They assembled together and they anointed him. Hallelujah. Amen. And there they anointed David king over the house of Judah. They made him the, the Oga Kwata Kwata. The man that has the power, everything in him. So he became untouchable even in his own clan. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And the third time he got anointed, in Second Samuel 5, 3, all the elders of Israel, now the whole nation, the whole nation, the whole nation gathered. So all the elders of Israel came to the king, to Hebron. And King David made a league with them in Hebron before the Lord, and they anointed David king over Israel. That was an anointing to make his head untouchable in Israel. That is why his son came, he could not get him. I told first council could not stand. Why? They have made him the head that was stronger. I decree over your life. After now, your head is strong. Amen. I say your head is strong. Amen. Bullet will bounce and go back to the center. Amen. Bullet will bounce and go back to the center. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. I declare upon your life. Which is from the entire nation, they cannot get at you. Amen. I said they will die for your sake. Amen. They will die for your sake. Amen. They will perish for your sake. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I don't have much time. Quickly, let me drop this scripture. Can we be on our feet? As we begin to pray. Job chapter 28, number 7. Seven and 8. We're going to read that quickly. And then from there, we jump into our prayers. Can we read together? Want to go? There is a part which no foul know it. There is a place. Wait, 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 hold on. There is a place where witches and wizards cannot see. Their eyes cannot get to. That's what the scripture is saying. He said there is a part which no foul no one, and which no and which the vultures eye had not seen. When you are under the wings of God, the eyes of the vulture cannot see you. He said the lion's webs have not trodden it, nor the fierce lion passed by it. There is a lion bigger than that lion. Yes, sir. And he's here today. By this eye, I decree you shall be preserved. Amen. I say you shall be protected. Amen. Somebody say, Lord, hide Lord, me. Hide say, Lord, hide me. Lord, hide, hide my family. Hide my say, family. Lord, hide me. Lord, hide my me. father, my father. My father my as father. I begin to pray. As as I begin in to the pray. name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Lord, Lord, hide me. Hide me. Lord, 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 hide my family. Hide my family. Lord, Yeah, 
Before we enter the anointing, I just want to touch two people that there are two cases I saw. There's somebody you are feeling pain from under your leg, under your leg, underneath your feet. Is it you want to come? Under your leg. And today marks the end of that experience in the name of Jesus. I declare you are healed. You are healed. You are healed. I declare you are healed in the name of Jesus. Today marks the end. Today marks the end. Quickly, I saw I saw somebody, I saw someone, um, I saw something happen. I don't know if that was a dream or reality. Someone, you saw someone that is dead. And you're looking at but this person is dead. And the person is, you really, you make out the person. I don't know if it's reality. That's the only picture I saw. If you saw in real life, somebody looking like somebody who is dead. And you know this person is dead. Or is it in a dream? I, I saw it very, I saw that you. Eh? You recognize the person. It's not. Come. Lift up your hand. I decree every spirit of death fire, it goes back to sender. You shall not die. Amen. But you will live. Amen. To declare the works of God. Amen. In this generation. Amen. I decree God will give you a long life. Amen. 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 Amen. Hey, come. This is your battle. Do you know that? Any battle on him is your battle. Do you know that? So if they take him out, it means they put you back where they kept you many years ago. Do you understand what I'm saying? So that's why you must be serious with the things of God. Every battle on him is you. They are targeting to make sure you remain in the place they kept you for many years. But today, under God, nobody will die here before they Amen. Amen. I decree by the mandate of God, you are protected. Amen. Power come upon him. Amen. Every arrow from the pit of hell, go back to your sender. Amen. 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 In the name of Jesus. Amen. I decree you fulfill your purpose. Amen. Every arrow from the pit of hell to set you in one spot, I decree you will move forward. Amen. You are going forward. Amen. You are going forward. Amen. Power of God, touch her. Remove her from the list of the enemy. Amen. That list of those who are prepared to fail, you will not fail. Amen. You will not fail. Amen. You will not fail. Amen. You will not fail. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, faithful Father. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. I pray. Anyone here that they are, call, they are calling you in the coven for death. It's not your portion. It is 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 not your portion. In the name of Jesus. Can all the children come in quickly? Let the children come in. Let them bring the children. Let them stay beside people. Somebody see themselves like they shave their hair in the grill. Like they cut their hair. See you? Come, 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 come. Where's my people? Where's the children? Where's the children? Ministers, help us here. Ministers, move fast. Somebody show the mic. Why you have the oil? What do you see? That mic is not talking. You are protected in the name of Jesus. That mic is not talking. You are protected in the name of Jesus. You are preserved in the name of Jesus. You are protected in the name of Jesus. You are preserved in the name of Jesus. You are protected 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 in the name of Jesus. I hide you. I hide you. I hide you. I hide you. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father.
Somebody shaved your head. Whoever shaved your head in the dream, I cut off their head. Amen. I cut off their head. Amen. I cut off their head. Amen. I cut off their head. In the name of Jesus. You are protected. In the name of Jesus. You will not lose your glory. I decree the crown of God rest upon you. Power. Father, whatever the aim are taken out, we restore. We restore. We restore. We restore. In the name of Jesus. You shall be great. You shall be great. Ah, Barata. I make you the biggest thing in your generation, in your family. All, oh, everyone before your time, none shall be greater than you. Even those that have gone ahead of you, I decree God will make you there. In the name of Jesus, Amen. let our glory be restored. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Have much time. I'm gonna. This is Lion of Judah. There's gonna be open doors for everybody. God is gonna visit family. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Come. Do you remember your dreams? Father, I pray for your daughter. You shall not die. I disconnect you from the spirit of death. 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 I decree you shall live in Jesus' name. 